Hi, welcome to Professional Certifications Channel. Let's break down CPHU exam prep, one topic a day for focused and effective learning. Today's topic is credentialing and privileging in healthcare. Credentialing and privileging in healthcare. Credentialing and privileging are key processes in healthcare, ensuring that healthcare providers are qualified and authorized to deliver safe and effective care. Definitions Credentialing, this process involves verifying and assessing the qualifications of healthcare providers. It includes the evaluation of their education, training, experience, and licensure to ensure they meet the necessary standards to provide care. Privileging, privileging is the process of granting a healthcare provider the authority to perform specific clinical services or procedures in a healthcare facility. This decision is based on their credentials, competencies, and performance. Details 1. Importance of credentialing and privileging Patient safety ensures that only qualified and competent healthcare providers are delivering care, thereby protecting patient safety. Quality of care plays a critical role in maintaining high standards of care quality within healthcare organizations. Regulatory compliance helps healthcare facilities comply with regulatory requirements and accreditation standards. 2. Credentialing process. Verification of credentials involves checking the validity of educational degrees, residency and fellowship training, licensure, board certification, work history, and references. Continuous monitoring. Ongoing monitoring of a provider's credentials is often required to maintain their status within an organization. 3. Privileging Process Assessment of competency, determining the provider's competency in performing specific procedures or services. Scope of Practice Privileges are granted based on the provider's scope of practice, which is defined by their specialty, training, and experience. Review of Performance Regular review of a provider's clinical performance can influence their privileging status. 4. Challenges in credentialing and privileging. Resource-intensive process. Both processes can be time-consuming and require substantial administrative resources. Keeping information current. Ensuring that credentialing information is up-to-date and accurately reflects the provider's qualifications. Balancing efficiency and thoroughness. Conducting a thorough review while also maintaining an efficient process. 5. Impact on healthcare providers and facilities. Professional credibility, credentialing and privileging contribute to the professional credibility and reputation of healthcare providers. Facility reputation, for healthcare facilities, robust credentialing and privileging processes enhance their reputation for quality and safety. Conclusion Credentialing and privileging are essential processes in the healthcare industry, fundamental to ensuring that healthcare providers are qualified and capable of delivering quality care. While credentialing establishes the qualifications of providers, privileging determines the specific clinical activities they are permitted to perform within a healthcare setting. These processes are integral to maintaining patient safety, care quality, and regulatory compliance in healthcare organizations. If you found this content informative, please like, share, and subscribe.